when I heard about the Olympics, it was one of the projects I really wanted to be involved with. I think it's an enormous performance. What I am often driven by is theatre, culture, arts, and I think if this is combining, marrying so many extraordinary disciplines, it's just a giant performance for everybody who's involved in it to shine. Perhaps what I like is the idea of being on the stage, but I never managed to go into the acting profession. So it's a way of somehow being part of that arena, if I'm honest. With my remit, which is the producers, right in the beginning I was nervous that it could look corporate-y, you know, in terms of they weren't, a lot of them were not people who were terribly in the public eye. Um, so this idea of somehow bringing a power to them, having the photograph be arresting, I wanted it to give it that sense of theatre. It seemed a natural thing for me to make them as if they were some kind of a film still. They were in some sort of performance. Work is so much not a two-way process, but a many-way process. I've done a lot of the of wrecking beforehand. I've had meetings and kind of consultations with the commissioning editor, Anne Braben. We've sort of researched it online, as well as articles and features about whoever it is that we are photographing. And then I've asked very specifically to go and meet whoever I've been photographing. There were a number of possibilities for the photograph of Jan Matthews, whose portfolio to me is f simply phenomenal. The idea was, she said, that the, the use of British produce. So through discussions with Anne, we said perhaps a, a local London market would be the place to do it. So one morning at the crack of dawn, um, we went to Smithfield Market. We didn't want to get swayed by the building itself. So we used the, the sort of plastic sheeting as a metaphor, I would say, for a stage set and a, and a curtain coming down or opening. And the characters, these, um, who were then sort of blasted a bit out of focus and they would be seen, but just be in the background. Meeting people and somehow um, portraying them is a bit of a obsession and a passion of mine and uh, and mostly it's the challenge that I enjoy and it's the challenge of um, shifting something that could be ordinary into something that's different or um, surprises somebody.